Modern Masculine Women and the Second Shift? What's that all about? This is your boy Brent in Miami back with another banger. Hey, if you're watching more than two of these videos, make sure you're liking and hitting that subscribe button. I need your support. All right, let's get into it. I got a request in to review a video uh, from Arlie Hothschild, and it's about the second shift. Uh, shout out to best friend. Uh, that's the user for all the support. And keep those comments flowing and let me know what you guys want. But yeah, let's take a look at it. Wait, hold on a second. Let me, let me grab the wifey. I'm sure she has plenty to say uh, about this stuff. So let me grab her and we'll start the clip and we'll get this thing rocking. All right. And now to think where we are, where women are half the labor force in every kind of job. So what a revolution. And so I decided to step in to um, see how this revolution was going. Was it compatible with happy families? How, do, how does it fit the workplace as we know it? How did it fit what the government thought it ought to be doing to make uh, American families uh, function well. I first got the idea of a second shift from a woman I was talking to who said, I go to work, I'm on, on, on. I come home from work, the kids need to be fed, they need to be put uh, into a bath and put to bed, I've got to get lunches ready for tomorrow, put the laundry in, on, on, on. Then I go to sleep and I wake up. And she said, life at home has become a second shift. What I really wanted to do was find out, do women work a second shift? How does it work out? Who does what at home? And how do they feel about what they do? And what I began to notice is that women um, actually spent more time uh, dealing with uh, the children and the house. They were more likely to do two things at once. They would be folding the laundry in on the phone, guys would do things one at a time more often. <laughs> is that is that true? Can no. guys multitask or no. No, or, no. Or, no? Actually, one of my clients, we were talking about this the other day, and she was going out of town, and her husband had to watch the kids for a couple of days during the school week. He actually had to take off of work because he couldn't work and take care of the kids. And she's like, why would you take off of work? They're in school while you're working. And he's like, I just can't do it. I, I have to do one or the other. I can't do both. I can't take care of the kids, do their lunches, do their dinner and work. Even though it's two completely times of the days, they can literally only focus one thing at a time. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we'll continue. What I was finding is that women we're going home to husbands who said, sweetheart, love to have you working so long as you can do most of the housework and raising the children. And they went out to jobs where the uh, boss was saying, Susie, love to have you here so long as you're uh, here at eight on the dot and uh, leave five, five, thirty-six. Really a workplace that had originally been designed for men with stay-at-home wives. So she said two things. From your husband, he said, great, you can work. Um, you know, that would be a good thing as long as you can manage the household, the kids, and your job at the same time. And then on the other hand, the boss said, great, you can work as long as you can be here at 8 and, you know, be done about 536. Um, so these jobs and these working hours are des originally designed for men with stay-at-home wives. Uh, that's what she's saying. So it's like having two bosses and two primary responsibilities you understand the 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 fight the, not the fight but the uh the conflict yeah thoughts mm -hmm. a lot of them a lot of them <laughs> okay go that's i'm just telling you what she's saying i'm just reporting okay i'm just the messenger go ahead um that job is probably not the right job for you and it depends on your household does the woman have to work is the man providing enough money is he hustling? Is he bringing in enough money to be able to support the family and the way you want to live? Because if not, yes, the woman will have to work. 
So it just depends on the household that is there. Um, you know, and if the woman has to work because the man, whatever the reason, I mean, America is expensive. I mean, yes, you can make ends meet and struggle and have one woman at, and the woman at home and the man working. But does, you know, all men come in different money brackets. Right. And, you're and all skill sets. And you're in different parts of your life. Um, yes. Wh- where you are, you know, like career wise, financial wise, you know, are you and, and your lifestyle you want to live. Do you want to live a simpler lifestyle, do less things, have less luxuries? Or do you want to do more things? Do you want to travel internationally? Do you want to take bigger vacations um, with the two incomes? So it's a give and take and it's a communication conversation that couples have to have on their work life balance. And it's just not dump everything on the woman, right? Correct. But I do think if a woman does have to work to help provide, then the man needs to help at home as well. Right. So, okay. So, yep, yep. I, yeah. Okay. You know, and even if the woman is a stay at home wife, if the children are under kindergarten and they're at home, like our job never ends either because you are with your child all day. You still have to do morning duties, night duties. You're with your child. You never get a break. And then if you have little ones, you're not sleeping at night. So in the end of the day, even if the, the man still needs to come in and help at some point, even if he is working, I mean, women need breaks as well. And we need help at home. Facts. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. And then she went into a culture in which the government said, oh, you're on your own, I'm not going to help. They wanted very much to live happy family lives, but something was getting in the way. And what it was was disagreements about what a man's role and a woman's role was. And I found that the happiest families were those who did come to some agreement and uh, who, who did share the second shift. She said a lot there. So she concluded that the happiest families are the ones that had these conversations and they came to agreement of what the roles and responsibilities would be for their particular family in their particular situation. Um, And this is going to be different for everyone. And these conversations have to be had Um, with work. You know, when two people are together, married, um, working. But once you have a child, the whole dynamic of that relationship changes. Now you have a a small individual who needs primary care. They need to be fed, they need to be bathed, they need to be cared for. Um, And, go ahead, you wanna say something? Um, No, I totally agree with her. I definitely think um, being together for the second shift and doing it together, I feel like you bond more. I feel like your family grows closer. The woman doesn't feel like a slave, a maid, like, and while the man just sitting there watching TV while the woman's cooking and cleaning and has her foot, you know, rocking the baby while she's trying to do the dishes while while the man just sitting there on the couch, oblivious to everything. The baby's crying, the food's burning. We like having that man in our kitchen with us and and building bonding and just having the help and it, you're laughing. But... Who, hurt, who hurt you? Who hurt you? Okay. <laughs> you know, it, this, it's, this, it's respect too. This like is if a disclaimer. I'm cooking... She's not talking about me. Okay, just to let you know. This is just to let you know. She's just talking about people in general, You've not your boy. You've grown a lot. <laughs> right. So uh, there was a study done by Pew. Some metrics gathered that they asked uh, um, uh, people. Working parents with young children, they asked what they thought should, um, and they responded. 44% of the people believe that the ideal situation was for one parent to be working and one parent to be staying home. 36% believe that one person be working and the other person working part-time. And 18% believe that the ideal situation would be for both parents working. So what that means is that people understand that you know there has to be a primary parent involved in the child's life to kind of run the household right people all agree on that it's just how you achieve that and 
the the overlap that happens between men and women on that process. Make sense? Agree. I mean, a woman's role is a, is making sure their homework is done, making sure that you know you're on top of their grades you're on top of the school schedule you're on top of like like and then when they're babies you know like we prep their food like we it's not always the wife that has to do every diaper or bathe every bath or do every bottle you know like men need to step up and also bond with their child and create that memories and that bonding right and i think this has evolved over time. I mean, coming from my personal experience, my dad had zero interactions um, when we were little. I asked him, Dad, how do you change a diaper? And he told me, I don't know. I've never changed a diaper. And I said, Dad, you have four children. How have you never changed a diaper? And he explained that in the olden days, that's not how it was done. This revolution in the transformation of women had led to fast changing women and slow changing everything else. And slow changing, she means by slow changing men. <laughs> That's what I think she was saying. But hey, it is what it is, you know. And it was creating strains, and the family became the shock absorber of those strains. So what looked like a personal reason for unhappiness or even divorce, uh, that meant there was less, less time to um, be with your kids and tend to your home. If we're talking about work-family balance, and this, uh, the unstalling, the stalled revolution, that men need to be able to do what women have done and women do what men have done. Like, if I cook, I mean, at least help me with the dish. It's just a line of respect and we're together. We're a, a team. team. It's not, we do have small roles, yes, that we're gonna have to have, but we're a family. We're one.